Hello everyone and welcome to the sideboard at the Cincinnati Standard Open. Glenn Jones, I'm here coordinating coverage of the event and I thought I would come over to bring you the sales for the event basically. Uh, we've sold a lot of cards, obviously mostly returned to Ravnica as that's like the big set and the cards that are selling the most have tended to be green cards. Uh, Tristani has sold a number of copies, I think about eight play sets. Uh, Loxanon Smiter, also eight. Temple Garden, honorary green card, obviously uh, also eight. And Deathrite Shaman, who is a little bit of both. Uh, I think I want to classify him mostly as a green card uh, because I feel like people are going to be playing him against uh, zombies and the capacity to remove its creatures from the graveyard is one of its major selling points. So Gravecrawler, Dross Messenger, all those guys, just keeping them from coming back from the dead basically is a big factor in that guy's favor. Uh, and Armada Worm has been a surprise seller as well. I, I guess I use the term surprise loosely because Broodmage Dragon was a very good standard card and Armada Worm, without the oppression of Vapor Snag, is probably pretty poised to become a strong standard card as well. Restoration Angel and Cloud Shift are two of the ways you can abuse it, although we've had some more interesting takes. Mark Sun is actually playing Armada Worms alongside uh, Parallel Lives. I don't know if anyone else is trying to do that, but it could be a thing to watch out for later on. Aside from that, all of the Shocklands have been good sellers. Uh, Loxodon Smiter is another green-white card that's done well. But the two biggest sellers, Temple Garden, I already said that one, that one we sold uh, 24, and uh, Jace, Architect of Thought, we sold out of at the booth. The Blue Planeswalker definitely was underrated for a long time once he uh, first got spoiled, but his price has steadily climbed. Uh, I think he's pretty much evened out with Braska now, and I expect after this weekend, we'll perceive Jace as the much stronger Planeswalker in Constructed. Uh, a lot of the Rono contingents playing him, and most of those guys came with their copies already in hand. So. Uh, the people buying them here are definitely people who have also independently arrived at the conclusion that Jace Architect of Thought is a big deal. One of the most common board states I've seen is actually a Tamiyo facing off against a Jace, which is a fight Tamiyo has tended to win, although Jace is still very strong. Uh, obviously the cards tend to go in a lot of the same decks, so there's that to consider as well. Uh, I expect that both of those Planeswalkers will have their stock rising by the end of the weekend though, so if you want to pick up Jace or Tamiyo, I would go ahead and grab your copies now before the prices all get adjusted up, because they almost certainly will be. Uh, the other sellers, Rakdos, Cackler, and Blood Crypt, both from the new set, sold a ton of those guys. Uh, the Cackler, an uncommon, obviously, but people needed it for their Zombies deck. Uh, a lot of people are looking to add the third two-power one-drop to the various Black Aggro decks. Not even all of these lists are Zombies-oriented, although most are. Uh, I think the most successful one we have in the room right now is Jobernal, who's playing a black-red take with Bump in the Night that we did a deck tech on earlier, so we'll have that deck list up for you later. Uh, Blood Crypt, again, another not surprise big seller. Uh, interestingly enough, the card we were selling the least of the Shocklands was Overgrown Tomb, which is one of the highest-priced ones coming into the weekend. So uh, Black Green Zombies may not be quite the force that everyone expected it to be, or it may be that everybody just already came with all of their Overgrown Tombs and sleeves. Uh, we're going to have another round of magic coming up for you pretty soon, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it back to a break before we get you guys back in the booth with Zach Hall and Matthias Hunt, uh, and I believe that's going to be round four. I really hope I got that right of the standard open. Uh, thanks. <laughs> 